It's crucial for leaders today to be able to communicate effectively. If as a leader you want to influence the direction of an organization or the output of your employees and your team members, the best tool in your toolkit as a leader is effective and clear communication. The first place I begin when I work with a leader who is trying to communicate more effectively is to teach a very simple framework that allows you to create a strategy before you ever write or ever speak. And the heart of that strategy is just the word aim. Who is my audience? What is my intent? And what is my message? If, if a leader can think through audience intent and message as they're creating an email or a tweet or a report or a presentation and really distill within each of those three pieces, what is it they want to achieve with the audience that they're speaking to? That's the first place to become more effective as a leader who communicates. The more I know about the group of people that I'm trying to communicate with, what inspires them to action? Where do they gather? What resources do they rely on? What sources of news do they read? What are their peer groups of influence? The more I understand the audience, the more I can decide what's the best vehicle or multiple vehicles that I might want to use in order to communicate with them. When I'm only communicating with one person and I'm doing it interpersonally with just two people sitting in a room, I have the full benefit of both the verbal and the nonverbal communication between me and that other person. As a leader, I don't have that freedom where every message I deliver, I can deliver one-on-one. -on -one. So as I start communicating to a small group of people, a larger group of people, a very large group, or a mass audience, I have to also expand the different vehicles that I might use, choosing the vehicle or vehicles that can be most effective based on the audience analysis that I've done. Anytime that a leader is standing up in front of a group of people to deliver a message, there are three aspects to that communication. There's the verbal, which are the actual words that that person says to the audience. If I was to do a transcript of everything that was said, that's the verbal component of the communication. There's also the vocal component of the communication, how loud or how soft, how much I use pauses for emphasis, or how rapid I deliver to show a sense of excitement and enthusiasm for what's coming. And that's the vocal aspect of the communication. But the third, and many researchers argue the most powerful aspect of communication, is the visual, the nonverbal communication. My sense of gestures, eye contact, movement, even how I'm dressed and the posture that I use, all is a part of my presence as a leader in front of a group of people. So when the visual, the vocal, and the verbal all come together effectively, then a leader is able to have a sense of executive presence as they deliver a presentation, share a story, or have a conversation with the teams that they're leading.